Hi, I'm Miss Cox, and today I'm going to be doing a um, screencast on how to do a think aloud, and this will be an example of a think aloud for this article on a, China, a Chinese dissident. So let me get started. This article was written in February 2012, so this is pretty recent. I'm going to highlight that. That's an important fact. Um, I'm going to actually also put down in my annotation legends that I'll say these are important facts. So yellow things will be important facts. All right, it says Chinese dissident Zhu Yaf Yufu gets seven years jail for poem. A court in eastern China has sentenced dissident writer uh, Xu Yufu to seven years in jail for a poem found to have incited subver subversion, rights groups say. Okay, there's some difficult language in there. I'm going to start with the difficult language. Um, dissident is a pretty difficult word, and so is subversion. Um, I'm going to highlight the, or I'll change those to red, and I'm going to put down that these are words students may not know. Um, for me, I know that a dissident is basically somebody who um, is kind of going against the country, or is, you know, somebody who is um, maybe saying negative things about the country that they live in. And subversion is kind of that act of doing things against your country. So let's see what this guy did. I'm curious as to what he did that he got seven years in prison. It says, the court in Hangzhou ruled that Mr. Zhu's poem, It's Time, okay, so that's his poem's title, I think, um, urging people to gather in support of freedom deserved stern punishment, his son said. So, okay, it says that it's his poem, and his poem was about freedom. So I'm going to say those are pretty important things. And I don't know if my students would know stern. That's kind of a difficult word. Stern is like really severe punishment. Um, it says, the poem was published online. Oh, that's really interesting. So I'm going to highlight that fact. Oops, I don't want to highlight everything. I'm going to highlight that fact. This is a poem that was published online. That's a really big deal that this guy published this poem online. You know, the question is, are you allowed to be arrested over something like that? And it says that he was formally arrested in April. Um, okay, let's see. Three other dissidents. So three other people that, this is saying three other people that, um, are kind of going against the country, have also received prison terms on subversion charges in the last few months. So it sounds like the Chinese government is putting people in jail for saying bad things about the government. Um, it says Mr. Zhu's hearing was attended by his former wife and his son. That's kind of interesting. He has a former wife. Wonder what happened to them. Wonder if she was sick of him writing poetry about the government. <laughs> Uh, it says, the court verdict said this was a serious crime that deserved stern punishment. His son, Zhu Ang, was quoted by news agency Reuters as saying, I don't, I don't know what, I'm going to change the color for me. I don't know what Reuters is. Um, I've never heard of that. I don't know. So I don't know what that is exactly. Um, it seems like... It's a news agency, but I've never heard of that news agency. Um, basically, the only chance that my father had to say anything was when he was being taken out after the hearing, and he stopped and said, I want to appeal. Oh, so he didn't really get to say anything. Um, that's interesting. I mean, I feel like in courts in the U.S., we have a chance to speak up for ourselves. So it's kind of interesting that he didn't have a chance to say anything. Now, let's see what else it says. It says, Mr. Zhu, a veteran activist who turns 59 this month. Oh, that's, that's kind of important to me. He is, um, so he's kind of an older guy. Uh, I want to highlight this month, too. Okay, so I think this is kind of an important fact. This is not a young guy. This is an older man. He's a little younger than my dad. Uh, was involved in the 1979 Democracy Wall Movement, which pressed for faster change in China. I haven't heard of this. I don't know what the Democracy Wall Movement is. 
1979 democracy. I would have to look that up and find out a little more about that. I'm not sure what that is. But I do know that China, China is a communist country, so they don't have democracy. So maybe this was about trying to get democracy in China. Um, oh, looks like I'm almost done. It says he had been jailed twice before for his activism. Ooh, activism is a word maybe my students wouldn't know. That's a word um, about people that like fight for what they believe in. Um, he'd been jailed twice before. That's pretty interesting. This guy didn't give up on what he believed in, even after being in jail. Wow. He was in jail for seven years and then two years. So total, that means he was sentenced for 16 years in prison. That's crazy because he was sentenced seven years recently. So 16 years of prison for what you believe in. That's pretty intense. Um, a verse of his poem reads, It's time, Chinese people. The square belongs to everyone. The feet are yours. It's time to use your feet and take to the square to make a choice. Um, I think this is, this is important. I think they're talking the square here. Um, I think they're referring to, I think it's called Tenement Square. There was a famous square in China where um, there was some big protest or revolt and I think there were there's pictures of tanks aiming at people I don't really remember too much about it so that would be something I'm gonna change the color of as well um, I kinda remember a little bit about it but I definitely could look back into that um, so basically he's telling people to like stand up and fight and you know fight for what you believe in that's pretty intense so make I like that he says to make a choice like he's saying you know you need to decide if you're gonna stand up for what you believe in and then at the end here it says in December prominent activist Chen Wei from Xu Chuan and Chen Shi from <coughs> Gyu Zhou I should know how to pronounce these things I used to take Chinese uh, from Guizhou were also sentenced to prison terms for inciting subversion of state power. So other activists are being sentenced to prison terms. So it sounds like this is really common in China that a lot of people that fight for what they believe in in China are put in prison. I wonder if that would happen in the US. I feel like in the US people aren't just thrown in prison for what they believe in unless they're doing some sort of terrorist act. Um, and it says the charge is often used against critics of the Communist Party. Um, so, against critics? See, I think that means, I think this is trying to say, sh is often used by critics of the Communist Party. Because I think what this is trying to say is, people that criticize the Communist Party are against um, what's happening here. Um, that these people that speak up get thrown in jail and so people are saying oh well that's the problem with the communist party that they can just throw people in jail I think that's what it's trying to say there um, so this is about kind of the communist party and um, what that is about now I'm gonna zoom out for a second okay I went through the whole article um, I'm gonna look back I highlighted some things and I didn't highlight too much so I'm pretty happy with what I highlighted um, and I, you know what, I don't think I highlighted this, that he got seven years in jail for the poem. I think that's kind of important. And I also didn't really put his name down in my highlighting. I think that's another important fact. Um, I think that's all I want to do. Um, there, ooh, there's some more words that I missed. Inciting is another word that I bet my students wouldn't know. Same with subversion. And is there anything else? verdict students might not know and oh yeah I already highlighted dissidents and subversion okay so I'm pretty happy with this at this point so I'm gonna go ahead and stop my recording and